So, hello everyone. Today, we're going to be talking about your guys' unpopular opinions because about two weeks ago, I made a video talking about my unpopular comic book opinions and you guys left a whole lot of comments with your unpopular opinions regarding comic books. So, today we're going to be going over those because you guys had some great hot takes that I wanted to talk about. And man, I look a lot more pale on this camera than I do on this camera. So it's interesting the different color grading on my, like, my webcam compared to my phone camera. But anyways... First one, which is the comment that I pinned because I thought it was the most interesting of the unpopular opinions, was from uh, Angus Joe who said, My comic related unpopular opinion is that All Star Batman by Frank Miller is good. I realize again and again that I am alone with this opinion. <laughs> and uh, I think it's funny because I'm one of those people that I, it's kind of a guilty pleasure book when it comes to reading All Star Batman Robin. As a lot of you guys know, I love Frank Miller's Daredevil stuff. I love uh, Batman Year One, but outside of that, I'm not the biggest Frank Miller fan. I'm not the fan of Dark Knight Returns. Like I talked about in my last video and all-star batman robin is a book that if you take it seriously if you take it as even though it's out of canon but if you take it as a sort of canon style batman stories and a serious batman story it is horrendous it's terrible it's awful you have a lot of terrible things like uh <laughs> like batman calling robin uh mentally impaired and batman getting mad because robin calls the batmobile gay or batman leaving dick grayson in the uh in the bat cave by himself to fend for himself and eat rats to survive or black canary and batman beating up a bunch of thugs i think it might have been police i think they beat up a bunch of corrupt cops and then they have sex immediately afterwards like they're at this dock it, it's one of the parts that i remember the most from the book because it was so outrageous black canary and batman are like at these docks and they beat the crap out of criminals or corrupt cops something and then they don't go to like a bedroom they don't go to Wayne Manor they don't go somewhere else they just have sex right there on the docks just right there they just get so horny for each other after beating up those corrupt cops and they just bang and it was just so outlandish and also the way Batman talks calls himself the GD Batman the whole time and it's hilarious the dialogue if you read it as sort of a parody book it is hilarious and it's fun like it is a fun book but a lot of people hate it rightfully so because it is bad again if you take it as a serious story it's terrible but if you read as more of a comedic book it's a fun time like and jim lee's art is fantastic but it is legitimately a fun time if you read it as sort of a parody like it's it's legitimately fun to read uh like the ending where batman confronts green lantern and he confronts him in an area where he paints the entire room yellow he painted his suit yellow he painted robin yellow he has lemonade there robin almost kills hal jordan because uh he gets glass shards in his neck because they're like hal jordan's holding a glass and and uh, Dick Grayson breaks it and the glass like gro goes into his throat and Batman gets all pissed at Robin for it. I think he even hits him. Oh my, the book is insane. It lets you into the just nutty mind of Frank Miller and it's it's a blast if you read it as a parody. But to anyone who has not read it, do not read it as a serious book. You will not have a good time. But that's the first opinion. The next unpopular opinion is from XL who says, Unpopular opinion, Superman the Animated Series is better than Batman the Animated Series. I almost never hear this, like ever, ever, and a lot of people love Superman the Animated Series. I'm a Superman fan, but I'm not the biggest fan of Superman the Animated Series. I just don't think it's very good, and I don't think it did a whole lot of justice for the character. There were some great episodes. Some of the stuff done with Dark Side on Apocalypse was amazing. Uh, some of the animated movies were all right. They, like, spun off of that, but for the most part, I think they kind of portrayed Superman as, like, just a dumb idiot that went in punching first and didn't think about things. They also severely underpowered him in a lot of ways. Like, he'd be lifting a log and just be like, Arr! like, it's the heaviest thing ever. Um, so there were some things, I, a lot of things I didn't care about for the show, but a lot of people disagree with me and love Superman the Animated Series, but so that being said, those people that love Superman the Animated Series love Batman the Animated Series even more, and I love Batman the Animated Series, I think it's a great show, the only superhero show that I think is better is Spectacular Spider-Man, sadly Spectacular Spider-Man only went two seasons, but it's still such a good show, and those two seasons are so solid that I believe it's better than the, uh, the seasons we got of Batman the Animated Series, but almost no one says Superman the Animated Series is better, they like almost never hear that, because if Batman the Animated Series and Superman the Animated Series were done by the same people, but the difference is the people that made those shows loved Batman a lot more and put a lot more care into that show than they did Superman the Animated Series. You can tell while watching it, there's a lot more love for the Batman characters than the Superman characters, but it's basically pretty much all the same people that did it. It's just they cared a lot more about Batman, so the show's a lot better, but 
this guy liked uh, Super Mario Land Series better. So I thought that was an interesting opinion that I definitely like never have heard before. Like legitimately, I'd never hear that. Phantom Wolf says, unpopular opinion. Barbara Gordon and Dick Grayson are not a good couple. They seem to have a completely different opinion on how they work. This is probably because I don't see Barbara Gordon as a good person overall. She seems very smug about everything and tries to look tough to people. So it doesn't look like she doesn't want to control everything around her. So I agree with the first part, disagree with the second part. I don't think Dick, uh, Barbara Gordon's a bad person or like super controlling or something like that but i do agree with the part that i'm not the biggest fan of dick and baz as a couple honestly i always preferred uh cory and dick i always preferred starfire and dick grayson to uh dick and babs i know that's an unpopular opinion a lot of people much prefer uh dick and babs like that's the quintessential relationship from the bat family but i prefer uh dick grayson and cory together i think they make a much better couple i don't think uh barbara gordon and dick grayson really work together that well but i disagree with the last part but again this is this whole video is talking about hot takes and unpopular opinions. So that guy talking about how uh, he, he he doesn't like the way uh, I'm reading the comment about, about how uh, I don't see Barbara Gordon as a good person overall. She seems very smug about everything and tries to look tough to people. So I, I don't agree with that part. But again, this is for unpopular opinion. So that's why I'm showcasing here. And I thought it was an interesting opinion that someone had. And there were some, quite a few uh, thumbs up on the comment. So there are some other people that agree there. But yeah, I, that's something I want to know from people in the comments. Uh, are you more of a fan? of Dick and Babs or uh, Dick and Corey because I much prefer uh, him with Starfire. I just think they 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 seem like a happier couple. I do agree that like a lot of the time when uh, Dick and Babs are together, there seems to be a lot of fighting, like them just like butting heads. To where it, when it's Starfire and Dick Grayson, there seems to be a lot more of like getting along and having fun. Um, that's yeah, maybe it's just because Marv Wolfman was writing it when that was happening, and that's why it seems better. But that's just my opinion on the matter. Spider Man Known says unpopular opinion: Spider Man Two game is overrated. Now. Prior to the Arkham games, the probably the most regarded superhero game was Spider-Man 2. A lot of people loved it. Now, I've always played on PC. That's just how it is. I never really had a console growing up, so I played games on PC. So this was back in the day when console and PC games were different sometimes. So like the game I played of Spider-Man 2 was different than the console version. Um, I remember that because uh, I played the Spider-Man 2 game like, on my friend's uh, PlayStation and it was much different than uh, playing it on PC. Like they were actually like different versions of the game. It's not like now to where, you know, it's all the same. It's just on different consoles, which is how it should be. But this was interesting. This is how it was with some games back in the day. And so the game I played, I honestly didn't care for the Spider-Man 2 game on PC, but I heard it's much better on PS2. I didn't beat it on PS2. I did beat it on PC. I remember like the Mysterio levels in the sky being a pain in the ass and I hated that. It was so annoying. I get lost. Uh, I remember that like there's this level where like you're swinging around the sky, like on these sort of like floating islands, like going against Mysterio. And it was annoying. I hated that part. But yeah, I agree in terms of the PC version that I played was not very good and I didn't get why people were like this is the best superhero game of all time prior to the Arkham games coming out and now Spider-Man PS4 um, but yeah I, I agree I didn't really care for it but the again I had a different experience than people that played it on console who said it was amazing and a great game but yeah I remember that for years prior to Arkham Asylum coming out it was always Spider-Man 2 is the best superhero game and that was the popular opinion. Random 800 Kiddo says, unpopular opinion, Rebirth and New 52 are trash and they should have fully committed to bringing the pre-52 back. Um, I agree with part of that statement. New 52 had some, like, was very 50-50 for me. There was some amazing stuff, like Jeff Lemire and Andrea Sorrentino's run on Green Arrow. Uh, what Jeff Lemire also did with Animal Man was really cool. Um, All-Star Western was fantastic. There were some really good stuff. Then there was some bad stuff, like the entirety of the Superman run, other than, uh, what Greg Pak did with Action Comics for, like, a little bit, and Jeff John's short run on Superman. Other than that, everything else to do with Superman was just absolutely abysmal. It was just terrible. There was a lot... Of the Scott Snyder's Batman run was great. Most of the de Detective Comics 252 was bad, though. Stuff they did with Nightwing was good for the most part, but then it, they put it in too many times. It, New 52 was a mixed bag, and getting rid of a lot of the continuity that people loved, myself included, was a big mistake, and I wish they wouldn't have done it. So I do agree that New 52, for the most part, my opinion was an L for DC. I wasn't the biggest fan of it. Um, Rebirth, on the other hand, at the beginning, I thought was great until they steered off from Jeff John's direction, because they're like, we got Bendis and all his friends, so let's just let them do whatever they want and we'll steer away from rebirth and doomsday clock and the button and everything and just go and do whatever we want now that's what i think the mistake was i think rebirth was great but i also do agree with the fact that i think they should have committed more to bringing pre-52 back because when rebirth happened we had uh well right before rebirth the lead up to it we had a uh, pre-new 52 superman come in and i was really happy about that but then they did this weird arc 
where it wasn't necessarily a bad arc, they combined pre-New 52 Superman, pre-New 52 Lois, and New 52 Superman, New 52 Lois. They combined them into one character, so that way they should ha they could have like the history, they the short little history they had in New 52 with their pre-New 52 counterparts, and I wasn't the biggest fan of that. I was like, uh, -uh you're kind of like... You're kind of making pre-52 uh, pre Superman and pre-52 Lois, like, impure. Like, you're bringing these versions that, yeah, they had some good stories, but uh -huh, they weren't that great, and I didn't need them to be connected. Like, they just kind of did it, I guess, for John. But, I, well, they didn't even do it for John. I don't even know why they did it. It made no sense, because John was born to the pre-52 uh, Lois and Clark, so it made no sense why they did it. It was just... It was dumb, it was just something so they could keep that history intact, but I don't think they needed to keep that history intact because no one cared about that history. So, I do agree, like, in that aspect, they definitely should have committed more to bringing pre New 52 back, and with some other things, like Wally. -E. Um, but yeah, I, I loved Rebirth, I thought it was great, they just steered away from it, but, pre -New, but New 52 was definitely, yeah, some great moments, but overall, not the best thing. And the next one is from The Variants. He says, my unpopular opinion is X-Men Origins is pretty good, except the Deadpool, the Dark Knight Rises sucks, and Venom is actually good. I'm just going to address the, uh, the X-Men Origins part of that, X-Men Origins Wolverine, because I've talked about this before. That is the guilty pleasure movie for me. That was the first PG-13 movie I ever saw in theaters. Prior to that, I'd never seen a PG-13 movie in theaters. Uh, I wasn't allowed to. I was very much like something that, like, Spider-Man 2, for the longest time, there were moments where that, uh, but like the the sort of like Doc Ock horror scene when I'd watch that movie my parents would fast forward that part you know where Doc's having like surgery and his uh his arms his mechanical arms come alive and like kill those doctors that part got fast forward for me, over for me so many times order 66 was also a part that got fast forward me over time my parents were kind of a little strict in that area to where uh when i was young they would be like no you're not allowed to see this too violent for you to see so when the x-men and wolverine came out it's pg-13 i really want to see it. i was like oh, i love wolverine he's like my favorite marvel hero and then i was allowed to see it. my dad took me to see it i was like yes so yes the movie sucks it's bad but there's some good moments in it. Sabretooth's awesome. They have kind of a cool fight, you know, with the logs and stuff. Um, Deadpool's terrible. A lot of stuff's really cheesy. The CGI's not very good. The Gambit stuff's not very good. Wasn't they did a decent job with Gambit, though? It's just what they did with Gambit was dumb. Um, and yeah, there's, there's some okay, you know, it's not the worst movie ever, but if you can, I still have that nostalgia for it. I haven't watched it in a while, but it is like my guilty pleasure comic book movie where it's like, I, I, I used to love it when I first saw it. When I first saw it, I thought it was like the best thing ever. Like nonstop action was so cool, but there's a lot of really dumb stuff in that movie. And the final unpopular opinion is from Shay in SGG. And they say unpopular opinion. Oh, Watchmen is overrated. This is something that I see uh, a lot of people are actually having more of this opinion now. It's not as unpopular as it used to be, but it still is an unpopular opinion. Uh, I can kind of see where you're coming from with this because Watchmen is very much a book that it's like all wrapped up in the ending and what you think of that like, final question of, you know, would you be on Rorschach's side or would you be on everyone else's side? Like, what, what do you do? You know, do you where where's your morality at that's like the big part of Watchmen and the and everything kind of leading up to that is kind of in service of the ending so there are parts where it drags there are parts where you're like where's this going when you first read it because it is such a long book and there are some things where it's like oh man this is like this is dragging like you're reading about the pirate guy and you're kind of like what does this mean before you kind of get all the clues to piece it together um so it is a bit of a drag i would say overall Watchmen's like if the entirety of the book there are some moments that lol is not the best book ever but it is a very important book in uh, comic book culture and like just yeah literature in general is pretty important uh, and it's a it's a great book I still really enjoy it the art is great I love it um, but yeah I could I could definitely say it's it's a little overrated I still think it's a really good book um, definitely what's done in the comic book industry kind of sucks though because everyone wanted to create the next Watchmen after that and everyone thought they were all philosophical and deconstruct heroes and it's like you're not Alan Moore, please stop, but you still have writers to this day doing that, being like, I'm going to create the next Watchmen, it's like, no you're not, um, but, yeah, uh, I can see where you're coming from with calling Watchmen overrated, though, but, that's it for unpopular opinions, I appreciate, I just hit my water ball, um, I appreciate everyone leaving their comments below, it was really, really interesting reading all, I got, like, over 200 comments, I just, like, went through every one, there were some, a lot of really interesting ones, but these are the ones that I wanted to talk about, but, yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.
Take my time, I try when I fall back I don't know what's going on now Change my mind, I'll try when I want that Take my time, I'll try when I fall back